of all black people down here. We must come together. We must unite. And I know that there's a bubble that some of these people are supposed to be in. But if I've been out here for 50 something nights, y'all can come out for a few. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm a youngin. Um, I want to call. I want to call the people out that know they should be here that aren't here. Like my big sister, she uh, she got a a scholarship down to Stanford by SEI, but she don't know if she want to go or not. Cause she don't know she gonna get shot in the head, arrested by police. Know that that shit could fuck her whole life up. I personally told her. I personally told her when she said that to me. I was really crying to her, saying you need to go to Stanford. Cause by you doing that. That helps me. I can legit get a scholarship, go to college, and be whatever I want to be. When I talked to my dad for the first time on jail, after 10 years, 10 years, because they took my dad on my fourth birthday, not knowing what to do, I talked to him. He said, I see you on TV, little bro. You really did something good, knowing that's my son. But I was like, why'd you go away? He told me what happened, and he told me this. Educate yourself. That means when someone act, that way when someone asks you something, you know how to stand on your own two feet. You can actually say something and not have to be scared. I've been scared my whole life knowing that my dad's not there. Thinking, oh no, my mom's just gonna be a single mother. Think I'm never gonna see my dad again. Think that he's in there for life. I'm gonna have to grow up without a dad. Y'all cops be fucked up for that. Y'all be taking uh, kids, child, uh, kids' parents away. Black dads matter. Black moms matter. Black kids matter. Yes. Just about a month ago, my little brother in Texas, Jay Sean, about to turn 10, about uh, his, day, his birthday was on Father's Day. A couple days before, he was shot and killed in Texas. My little brother, we did everything together. I don't know what y'all cops be thinking up in that warehouse or your little safe house, whatever y'all wanna call it. But when you come out here, I personally guarantee, when I defund you, I'm gonna find you. And I put that, I put that on my grandma's grave. I put that on my grandma, cause she was out there fighting. She ain't stopped, so I ain't gonna stop either. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep fighting. Do the work. That way when someone asks you a question, you know how to stand on your own two feet. You know? Yes. Ruby Bridges. She didn't back down. She stood on her own two feet. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And that's on my grandma. No cops, no KKK, no racist USA. 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 No cops, no KKK, no
USA. No KKK, no racist USA. No cop. No KKK, no racist USA. No cop. No KKK, no racist USA. No KKK, no racist USA. Y'all need to be louder. Come on, let's go. No cops. Who streets? Let's go. Who streets? Our streets. 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 Fuck the proud boy. No justice, no peace. Take it to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Take it to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Take it to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Take it to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Say what? Take to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Say what? Take to the streets to fund the police, no justice, no peace. Louder. No justice, no peace. No peace. Take to the streets to fund the police. with the Port PPB, right? Port Portland Police, right? Oh yeah. We won. We won that battle. That was right. We won that battle. Chumps and fans out. And guess what? PPB got tired. Guess what? I can't sleep because of y'all. Y'all never gonna sleep because of me. I can't sleep because of y'all. Y'all never gonna sleep because of me. I can't sleep because of y'all. Y'all never gonna sleep because of me. I ain't gonna sleep because of y'all. I just got one question. Who's got my back? Oh, so y'all know that shit then, huh? What I say? Who's got my back? I got your back. Who's got my back? I got your back. 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 Who's got my back? I got your back. Who's got my back? I got your back. 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 Portland, you scared? No! No, 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 I said, when I say Portland, you scared, y'all saying, hell no. Yeah. Not even the swag with that shit. When I say, Portland, you scared? Hell no. Say, Portland, you scared? Hell no. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Portland, you scared? I 
be scared. All right, now, yeah, I want y'all to listen up real quick, all right? So today, today we are at the Nike headquarters building, all right? All right? Hey, now why were we there? Because we have black people that cannot speak up for what the bullshit that they are going through because they're afraid to lose their jobs. They're afraid to speak yeah. out. Believe yeah. me, they want to be out here. They want to be supported because the owners will not let them. All right? So look, Fuck we will be out there at 12 o'clock until our demands are met, until we get that change. So look, I need to see y'all. I need to see y'all there tomorrow, 12. Hey, because we having lunch with Nike. All right, we having lunch with Nike. We're going to bust them, come out, and meet our demands because we got black people that we need to help. But here's why, all right? Look, we can change the world if we can change one small thing here in Portland, all right? You guys need to understand, Nike is everywhere. Nike is worldwide. Right. Okay, look, we're not Memphis, we're not New York, we're not LA, this is fucking Portland, Oregon, all right? If we can make one small change in Portland, Oregon, we can change the fucking world. I love you guys, have a great night. Hey y'all, I need y'all to be safe and watch out. There's not everybody out here with us. As you just saw, this truck leave. Also, there's a car that was broken into, Subaru with license plate 5NBV467. This is accountability. This is us sitting up and protecting us. Go check your car, get your shit, because we know who out here. We know who out here. Now there's something I want to bring to your attention, because I ain't going to stop being out here. I'm going to keep fucking coming out here. They are starting to target black people within this shit. They are starting to sit up here. They snipe Mac in the fucking park. They are starting to do that. I ain't wearing no fucking mask. They can see my fucking face. Because they need to start seeing black faces and realizing we ain't going nowhere and we ain't afraid to fucking show up. Now when you see this fucking truck, this is my truck. This is my truck. They tried last night as we tried to make sure we kept the energy hot, hot for these people out here, for my community out here. I tried to stand in between the police and the crowd. They already pumping out that tear gas. They tried to sit up here and rip this whole entire thing down. They tried to take our fucking voice from us. We ain't gonna let that shit happen, right? Yeah. Now, just because this truck moves over to the side and I sit up here and get in front of this fence, we ain't gonna be quiet, right? Yeah. Just because you don't have a black person with the microphone telling you what to do, you ain't gonna be quiet, right? They sit here and go this property and try to fuck with the houseless community. What we gonna do, we gonna be allies, right? We gonna take care of our own, right? I got shoes in the back. It's a black lives time. Good people in the front. Protect yourself. This is me protecting my community. Make sure we protect each other. Wall of Moms is here. Just watching down the Wall of Moms.
The fucking balcony right there in the corner there. So they were using straight up something else that was not just a game. I'm on third and salmon right now. Fed building, this is where it goes down. Fetty fence right here. That uh, pink residue is from when they uh, they got some color in their life. Uh, we're gonna go wander around the perimeter real quick. Give you a little bit of the speeches and stuff. Go check out Riot Ribs, see what's cracking with them. Maybe swing by OHSU like we do. spicy out here. That cornbread? That cornbread cake, yeah, you want some? Yeah, I do. So they're handing out cornbread cake down here. This is where you need to be. Speeches, motivation, some love. Thank you. I got a cornbread cake. That's what's up, Riot Ribs up here. That line is for the ribs. Let me show you what they got grilling up right here. They fucking shit up. What you got under some of these grills? Ooh, ooh, hold oh, there's up. There's little ribs there. Hold on, I got a light. Boom, oh my God, magic. Nice, nice. Those are real riot ribs right there. Riot ribs. What else you got? Uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh, more ribs. More fucking riot ribs. Wait, let's Wait. check the next one. Next one. There's three. Oh, look at that, more ribs. Holy sh... That's ribs. They got, down here. they got more grills. Oh, we just got some dogs over here. Dogs, we got weenies. That's, that's all I got. That's, that's, that's perfect. They come down to riot ribs, man. Hey, you just saw what? 11 racks of ribs, some shit. That's what's going on, that's what's going down. Riot ribs. We got a little med tent going on over there. Backup barbecues, or maybe tainted barbecues. Whoever's coming down and bringing the garbage bags, that's amazing. But please, when you come down, bring more garbage bags. The more garbage bags, the better. We can tie them up around all these poles and people can, people can, uh, you know, help police this a little bit better. Swing by the pambulance up here. Before we go back through the. What? You see how this is playing away from you? I know, I come over here every day and talk to the family people. I'm aware. Thank you. Chris. What up? You want some cornbread? Nah. <laughs> uh, 
see they got college over there. You want some? I'm just, I'm GMA, man. I'm just, you, you all right? Yeah, no, I know I'm good. I'm tired. Look at it. I still have some stuff to do today, like I gotta... So, I, the universe gave me a helmet after getting hit in the head. Yeah. Like, I like how that works. Right? And I was like, you need to get a helmet. It's like, I'll get onto it. And then like... It said, we really need to get a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> you take care of this girl, and two guy goes up, and he's like, hey man, you left your helmet. He's like... And I'm like, that's not mine. It's like, well, there's no other medics around here. And it was like, I'll try and find out who it is. Like five minutes, and I couldn't find him. Mm. And it fits. It's like an extra large helmet. So, yeah, it's a large extra large. It's a glove. Yeah, my head's huge. <laughs> my head's huge. Uh, yeah. When my afro grows out, I just can't wear hats. I feel that. As soon as I start growing hair, my whole hat head changes, and it messes up all the preset hats that I have. I have to wear different hats. Yep. <laughs> yep. I have a hair hat and I have a no hair hat. Yeah, no, when I, when I cut my hair, I kind of put it on a media and it just fell right the fuck off. It was too big. Well, we have the usual jovial added. Ooh, almost. We uh, normally come say hi to the uh, paramedics and pambulance and stuff. But the, the ones that are currently there have a little attitude issue. Uh, walking up with the camera facing away from them, they want to be curt about recording faces as if they can't actually see with their eyes that the camera is pointed away. And this is the kind of attitude sometimes that rubs people the wrong way. I'm just gonna chalk it up as they just treat everybody like that and just move on. But, you know, hey, if you can't see if the camera is pointed away from you when someone's walking up, maybe you shouldn't try to check them on some behavior that you're just guesstimating what they're doing. Just my uh, two cents on that. Um, yeah. Not as many people out tonight as there were last night, for sure. But a sizable crowd, nevertheless. I'm in a park across from the Justice Center. I gave you guys a good hour or so of the speeches that were going on, very powerful, moving speeches. And, uh, you know, that's the deal with that. I guess I'll uh, take a break and uh, maybe 420 myself.
ego, I got a whole bunch of white people that don't know me that don't like me. Let's talk about it. Let's do a piece of paper. Are you serious? Are you going to go against these people without any lawyers, without any legislation? We're going to have barbecues and get loud. We're going to sit here and run when they do firecrackers and a little bit of smoke. Let's fight with the paper. Please. I love every single person out here, but we can't win this without a piece of paper. I appreciate your time. Tonight. 
Are y'all scared? Are y'all scared? My protest is far away from me tonight. Are y'all scared? It kind of look like y'all scared. I mean, what the fuck? My protest is too far from me tonight. Are y'all scared? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Get the fuck out of Oregon! We don't want y'all here no more, bitch. We don't want to smell your stinky gas no more. Get out of Oregon. 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 Leave Portland. Leave Portland. Leave Portland. Leave Portland. Leave Portland. Leave Portland. Get out of Oregon. Get out of Oregon. Get out of Oregon. Get the fuck out of Oregon. What's up, Portland? What's up, Portland? Yeah. That's a little better. That's a little better. Y'all look, look amazing. Even at, even on a Sunday, you look great. We have just made history yet again, Portland. We have just made history. So, can I get some noise? A little bit more noise. So the question is, is these our streets? Yeah. Whose streets are these? Our streets! Whose? Our streets! Whose streets? Our streets! Whose streets? Our streets! I got power! 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 Power to the people! 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 I got power! Do you know what that means? That means that means we can make some things happen because we got the power. I don't know if you know, and maybe this is why all the craziness is going. But we stepped we stepped in at Nike today, just a few of us with the power of the people, and we made some things happen. I need as many as y'all can come tomorrow because we we do lunch with them every day until these changes happen. And we're testing out our power. Power to something good. You know, something good. Because we can either use it for the good or we can use it for, some, for the bad. And that's what this is all about. I ask myself, what does the system look like that we talk about that, needs, you know, that we're going to replace this one with? And I started replacing it with the power of the people and things start happening. So what I'm saying is you have the chance right now as a unit, as a unity, to do some amazing things. Let's try it. You know, let's try it. Let's come down, come out, and let's try it. We're not doing anything bad. We're not downplaying anybody. We love Nike. But, you know, just like when your mom and dad tell you you got to clean up your room, you got to clean up your room. You know, and like, so that's what we bought. We, 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 we're trying it out and, and trying it in different areas that we know we can get some change. We're tired of throwing rocks at a building that that don't mean anything. It don't mean anything. The building doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's scarred up enough. Look at it. It doesn't mean anything. So we, we really want to use our energy to keep this movement going. And the movement is something, a move with meaning. 
That's where the movement is. So we are we are here trying to put our energy into something something like that. So I can use your help. I can use your help. Some other people can use your help. Well, Nike, Nike is a beautiful thing because the things that they got going on, we can fix. Us, us as a whole can fix it. It's a fixing point. It will come to a point where if we don't if we don't step in, then it, it can be it can be catastrophic. So now we, let's use our power to do something good. Can we do that? Yeah. Cause I got, yeah. I got, yeah. I got yeah. power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. It's real. Yeah, uh, I want to second his motion about uh, throwing rocks at the people over there. I mean, like he said, we, we already, I mean, that, that building has already got scars and graffiti and they keep throwing up a fence and not bringing up and, and not coming out and showing their face and, and, and standing out here and Trying to trying to reason with us, you know what I'm saying? They want to keep standing behind that fence and hiding. I mean, they supposed to be a strong force. The the Federal Bureau of Investigation supposed to be a strong force to um, investigate crimes, but they want to put an agenda on protesters that's out here standing up against injustice, and that's crazy. I mean, how can a uh, how can America even stand for that? How can the uh, the other congressmen? and uh, House of Representatives stand for the feds abusing American citizens. We got constitutional rights. And, and, and nobody in that office is standing up to the plate and be like, I mean, if the feds wouldn't keep abusing them people, then people wouldn't want to uh, retaliate against the feds. I mean, all we doing when we stand out here and we cuss them out or whatever we do to them, it's only a reaction to what they doing to us. They've been abusing us. They've been gassing us. They've been telling, trying to order us. I mean, how can you order us when you give us a right, a constitutional right? You can't order that right. You gotta protect that right. They're not protecting our rights. And that's bullshit. We got a dictator ass president that ain't enforcing his his rights upon us. I mean, he give us rights, but don't enforce them. But he he allow his his um, agents to to tackle us and harass us, intimidate us, bully us, extort us. You know what I'm saying? All all that different stuff. But he does not give them an order to protect our rights, and that's bullshit. We, we, I can't wait till he leave office. I don't give a fuck who else they put in there. Long as it ain't nobody that's gonna give out rights and not uphold those rights. You give out rights, Mr. Donald Trump, but you ain't upholding the rights that you give us to have. And that's fucked up. You need to get out of office. That's dictatorship. We don't want another dictator. We want somebody who's gonna stand up for the people. We are the people. We're not just a group of goons or a group of terrorists. We're taxpayers. We're working citizens. We, we got homes, we got apartments. I mean, we got kids. We're not out here just to waste no time. We're out here because we want our rights respected. If, if we say fuck you, and if we say get out and go home, we mean that because you're not respecting us as humans. You're treating us less than cats and dogs. You know what I'm saying? They need to treat us better, man. We deserve better. And not they're not only doing gassing us, they, they gassing our environment. I mean, when people come down here that do work in these buildings, they're coughing and they ain't even been gassed. The wind can blow and that shit can affect somebody. I mean, it's a health issue. And, th and that's even more, more a reason for that judge to have probable cause. He could have went off just a health issue with it. You know what I'm saying? But, th but don't worry. I got a lot of petitions names that I've, I've um, got from you guys. The petition is being made. And trust me, once that petition is handed over to the Attorney General, the bitch is gonna leave Oregon! The bitch is gonna leave Oregon! The bitch is gonna leave Oregon! Portland, make some noise! Portland, make some noise! Oh yeah, oh yeah! 
there. We love you. We love you. We love the moms most importantly. But but for some reason, the moms is standing and watching that gate. And that ain't even our concern. Our concern is to come together as people. We don't, we're not worried about that building. I don't want to touch that building. I can't do nothing to it. It's a big old brick building that I don't want to fall on me. I don't want that motherfucker falling on me. That's why I'm over here at the Justice Center. I mean, we didn't win this war. We didn't pretty much got rights to be right here. Why be over there fucking with them? We want them to leave immediately. We want you fans to leave immediately. You're not welcome here. Anybody frustrated? I think my voice is back. But you frustrated back here? You tired of going through this? How about over there? Hey moms, y'all frustrated? What about back there? Y'all frustrated? Okay. You know what we do when we get frustrated? What you've been told, but the fans ain't gotta go. Yeah. See, all of our, all of our voices coming back. I'm almost I'm always back to fifty percent. All right, I got a couple people that want to say a couple things before they start gassing us. Um, I appreciate y'all for giving me the platform. My name is Raz, as he already knows. I mean, a lovely to see this young man up here doing it. What up, brother? This is what I'd like to say. I have, uh, I am a communications art director for one of the large black churches in Portland. And my job is to encourage African American men that we can do the same arts that Portland is famous for, right? Here is my disappointment. My disappointment is that I came to come to my office and we had shut down a street so that we could protest. But when I got out with my cameras to celebrate you guys, I realized that we weren't there. There were none of us there. Even now I look out, there's none of us there. So what I need is, I just came from Laurelhurst, racing my remote control cars and met so many people. But we are really doing it at Laurelhurst and these neighborhoods. So even though we're here in unity, we have to reach out to people. We have to have some of us represented in this crowd. Number one. Number two is legislation. My man's just said it. Can I get a show of hands if we bring a petition for Kate Brown to bring her a little bitty behind down here and sit with us? Ted Wheeler, you sat out here and got gassed, but you ain't sat out here any other time, bruh. We're not even allowed to do hip hop in the city because of you. Really? Do not stunt. This is our lives. And most importantly, all of you lovely ladies and gentlemen that came out here tonight, I can't believe it. Wonderful. I hate that they're smoking us and doing. to hold them accountable. Tomorrow, has to stop, sign the paper, and meet us at the table and see how smart we really are. I love all of y'all for doing this. about medics tonight, so if you're a medic in the crowd, when they start getting gas, please, please go and help them. Now, I see all of us out here, and it's important that when we fight, we stay unified. We have federal occupation of our city. We have rampant policing of our city. And we are getting pushed around by the police who see no repercussions. It's necessary that we come together and we show Donald Trump that this ain't it.
We show Donald Trump that this ain't it. We show him that we, that we will bring change. The only thing that Donald Trump understands is money. All he cares about is the economy. We're out here dying from COVID. We're out here dying from police. And he has money rather than to take care of us and to bring change, to throw tear gas at us. He wants to call the black individuals in this crowd thugs. He wants to call native Sacagawea. He wants to call all of us different names. He wants to call Mexicans illegal. We are out here to be unified and to fight and to bring change. And we need to bring pain where it hurts, okay? Stop spending money at unnecessary places. Hurt the economy. These corporations, fuck them. Amazon, fuck them, okay? Walmart, fuck them. These mom and pop shops all over Portland, they need your help. They need your help. Help black business. Help black individuals. Vote black and people of color into office. Help us. Help us. Help us. I don't even know my culture as a native because of what has happened in this country. Because they write us off. Because they don't think about anything. We need to come together and we need to remember that we are not better than each other. We are allies and comrades in this fight against the government that is trying to oppress us all. In this fight against fascism, we will make our country great because it never was. Touch something deep inside you and make you make noise and make you move. That's change. So you're going through a change. Everybody out here is going through a change. And it's a good change. Let's just use it right. Let's just use this power right. Let's we out here, like I said, we, we're making we're making history every single day we come out here. You have to know that. You have to know that Portland. We're we're a template for a lot of other cities right now. Yeah, you can make some noise for that. You got people flying in and just standing in way back their chains. This is something that you can't really control. It's a movement coming down a hill with a ball. You can't really stop it. It's just going to keep going. And as long as we keep coming together, we're going to roll together. And that's change. I'm going to keep saying the word change. I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's, I know it's getting dark. It's kind of... Not too, that many lights out here, but but the energy out here is still still like really really kind of crazy, you know what I mean? And it's, and when, when you say when y'all say this is our my, this is my streets, I'm starting to believe it every day. Every day I, I believe it more and more. So whose streets? streets? Whose streets? Make me believe it. Make me believe it. Make me believe it.
I think I think I'm not the only one who believes that. I think so. You believe that? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. Yeah. I really believe y'all believe that. That's a good. That's an excellent thing. Man, I'm I'm so in love. I fell in love with you like 50 days ago. I fell in love with you like almost 60 days ago. And every time I come here, I keep falling in love with you, Portland. This is, this is it. I, I mean, I definitely, I, I'm here. No, we love you. We love you. No, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Because I got power. Power to the people. Now, when a, when a race of people are born somewhere and they grow up in that place and, and, and they grow up there, they, they grow up in that place and they get used to that place and that place becomes home. It's even the same when you just happen to come here and you've been here for a while and, and you get used to it, that place becomes home. That's the reason why we can honestly say these are our streets. Because a lot of us grew up here and a lot of us came here and got used to it and been here for a while and got the hospitality that we, we deserve. And we can honestly call these our streets. I'm like, I'm like my man's here. We've been with y'all for like 60 days now. And it, it, it feels like y'all are my brothers and my sisters and stuff. Like, you feel me? And it feels like home, being around y'all. And, and, and I can even tell the difference when someone else comes down here to speak. And, and um, I can feel a difference. I can feel the vibe. They don't feel the same when somebody else is trying to speak to y'all because they don't know how to relate. Because me and y'all, we've been here for 60 days. We got a relationship now. So, so we can really see the difference. I mean, I ain't hating on nobody else's speech or nothing, but, but it's like you can't feel that vibe if they ain't been here with you. We've been here 60 days getting gas and all the rest of that. We family now. We family now. We family now. Feds, get the fuck out of Oregon! I mean, we can't allow the feds to break up our family. We can't allow Donald Trump to break up our family. The saying is, if we stay, stay together, we won't fall, divided, we will fall. We, we've we been together for 60 days now. We're together. Yeah. If we divide, if we divide, we gonna fall. Y'all been screaming Black Lives Matter for 60 days. But, but longer than that, it was signs and all that shit posted a long time ago. Black Lives Matter is, is, was a seed, and that seed has grown big. Not just in this state, but all across the United States. I mean, when I'm up here, and y'all hear my black, Black Lives Matter! I'm calling my brother and my sister. If y'all see me call that call and I'm right here, y'all supposed to drop everything because brother, brother, little brother, call it. Let's get to little brother. You feel me? I was calling every, earlier and nobody came to little brother's call. I was disappointed. I'm little brother. I got your back. So next time, man, for future references, if you hear little brother go like this, Black Lives Matter! That's just like Batman putting that, that, that thing in the sky, calling for his brothers in the my call, because I might really need you. If y'all call me, I'm coming. I'm dropping everything, I'm coming. For future references, if y'all hear that call, that means little brother that showed up to the plate. I don't give a fuck who talking. Little brother needs us. I mean, y'all don't know what I would have needed you for. I'm just saying, have my back for real. If I'm calling y'all, drop everything and come to the call. Because I got your back for real. 
I didn't know I didn't prove that so many times out here during the 60 days that I got human life back. I ain't gonna let nobody get ran over by no car. I ain't gonna let no motherfucking pussy come hang nothing in no tree like ropes. I mean, it was a dude that hung a rope in a tree. I ran his punk ass out of the park. It was a dude that came here with a truck about to hit somebody. I flattened that motherfucking tire. I got re I got total respect and I'm going to watch out for my, my assembly. I'm not going to let my assembly get attacked or ran over. That was a deadly situation and I stopped somebody from getting hurt. And I got a right to do that. If, if we're in danger and we're getting hurt, we got a right to defend ourselves. I defended about like 60 people that day. And y'all need to appreciate that because I got your back. And, and, and you need to lead, follow example. I'm trying to teach y'all how to lead by example. I'm leading by example. If you see somebody trying to run somebody over, jump in front of the car, do whatever. But protect that person. We got a right to defend ourselves and be, protect our assembly. Just like they were telling you if the feds come out trying to grab somebody, snatch them back. I mean, them feds been doing crimes. They been kidnapping people. I mean, we don't know if it's the feds or if it's somebody from, from somewhere we don't know. But them are our brothers and our sisters. We got to save them. We got to protect them. Don't stand for none of that bullshit. Protect your people. We, we are a family. I'm not going to let none of y'all fall. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you. I guess I just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to ask y'all a few questions because that's, I guess that's what you do when you're family. And uh, it's getting, it's getting late, but I mean, also real, being real with each other. What do we really want to do here? I don't, you don't have to answer me now, but maybe you should think about that when you go home. What do you really want? What kind of changes do you really want to see? Black lives matter, we all know that, yes. All lives matter, we know that, yes. But what do we want to do with this platform that we've been given? That's the question that I want everybody to take, take it home, put it in your pocket, put it in your sock, put it in the bottom of your shoe, protect that, and ask yourself that when you get home. And then when you, when you get home, you pull it out, jot down a few notes, put it back in your shoe, or sock or your pocket and come back here with it. Whisper it to somebody until it gets to us. Because it's time to make the changes now. Yeah. We accepted that we, we we accepted that we are human here in Portland. We all are human. That's what the other part of the country and the world are looking at. Like that we came together as humans for the first time. That's been it's been and it's been televised. So with that power, let's use it. We all are human. Because other than that, other than that, this is going to continue. This is going to continue until we start using our magic. You know how we do it. Hold your hand up. Make sure your fingers work. Y'all ready? Yeah. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. I ain't hear you. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. One more time, I ain't hear you that good. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. There we go. We have just changed Portland. Abracadabra. No more hate. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. You wake up lovely every morning. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. You got coffee to make itself. Abracadabra. When I ask you, when I ask you, I'm asking everybody that can hear me now. Come to Nike with me. It's not all, it's, it's just to make a change. It's an abracadabra. Something that we can win. I know we can. And it's for a good cause. It's for Black Lives Matter. It's to get people who with no voice, that can't say nothing because they trap behind the walls and they're afraid that they're going to lose their job if they say something. So we all we got to do is stand there and, and we make a point. I think that this is why it's divided today. 
It's because we started that. We put it in motion and we're making moves and now they don't want it to happen. They don't want it to change. But I need you to be there and we need to hold our hands up together. All we need, I'm calling for at least 300 people. Every day we're gonna meet there at 12 o'clock. So if you can give me 300 of y'all, then we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna abracadabra and make it a better place just that quick. I promise you that. And that's what I'm asking. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know it might be scary. I know it might be uncomfortable to hear this. It's uncomfortable for me to say it. But I think we're on a court now where we can make something happen. I really truly believe that. And I want, I, I want us to have that victory so we can keep being a template. It's crazy because today, a, a nice little amount of people showed up. And it was a beautiful thing to watch. Watch these different cars not worried about being gassed, put on a different outfit that don't, don't look all black. It was good to be able to do that for once and still fight the same battle. It was good to not look over your shoulder for people to jump out or run you over and for the same cause. So I'm just inviting you yes, yet again, let's do some magic, let's get this, get this changed, get a victory for Portland, continue to be a template, and then come together with whatever you got in your sock, that change that you got in your sock, when I make it to us, we're going to do it again and we're going to make another change. We're going to abracadabra some more. One more time. Abracadabra. I love you, Paul. I'm dead serious about that. I just need one good. I got power. I got power. Power to the people. 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 To the people. To the people. Don't that feel good, though? Yeah. I'm dead serious. Don't that feel good yet? You hear? It sounds really good. Power to the people. 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 Don't that feel good to everybody out here? Ain't they got anything to it? Because you really do got power. You got power like this. You got power. Yeah, it's spread out a little bit. It's little, little thing. I don't know what they're doing. What kind of thing they're trying to do? But we're tired of being divided. You tired of being divided? We don't gotta sleep together, I ain't talking about that close, but we got something magical here. We do. I did, I'm, I'm really serious. Sorry, I, disappeared. I hope you really okay. believe that. Because yeah, we, we got power to, power, power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. We got power. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. We got power. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow, right? I'll see y'all tomorrow, right? i see y'all. We're going to make some change tomorrow, right? I'm dead serious. Don't tell me a lie. Because I'll come back and I'll talk about it tomorrow night. We gonna, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I think I heard 300 of y'all. One more time. Y'all going to see y'all tomorrow? There we go. We're going to cut it short now. So now y'all got to protect yourself. Make sure you got your mask. Make sure y'all keep close. Make sure, because it's still some craziness, even at this time of night. You know it, this is where they come out. So keep your people close. If you got children or animals or people that can't defend themselves, make sure that you're defending themselves for, for them. And uh, continue this continues again tomorrow. Yes, sir. Love y'all. Yes, Stop. Cops. Set them down. Open up shop. Stop. Cops. Set them down. Open up shop. Stop, cops, set them down, 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 open up shop.
Guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you guys follow the Instagram and the Twitter. It's in the pinned comments and it's in the description. Keeps you guys updated on uh, everything that's going on. And if anything ever happens to Facebook, then you know you got you guys know where to go. We got Twitter and Instagram. They're both the same. S O L period L U N A underscore X I. It's in the pinned comments and the description. Hard to miss. grab some more water please share this if you haven't already spam those heart reactions you know what to do we'll get a safety meeting an official safety meeting at 2k share this if you haven't already let's go so they're crowded around the fence again they are crowded around the fence again that man just gave like 14 speeches saying don't go to the fence and of course people still want to do their thing um uh oh Oh, let's go. We're getting some of the, uh, I just got the email, the confirmation that uh, the filters for the gas masks are now on the way. So we're going to have some better filters for the mask that I have. Because right now we're just going off the, the basic filters. Oh, 2K, let's go. Safety meeting, you know what to do. Let's do it. Can I stay late tonight? Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay pretty late if I can, because I'm taking tomorrow off, so I can work myself tonight. Plus, I don't have to. I don't have anything to do until <clears throat> till seven. Always join safety meeting, let's go. 